Bonjour everyone, I'm back, Luter FM, with another episode of the So Show Euphony Challenge. Um, I've got my new shirt on here, um, Verde Bremen. I got this from a mystery box, really like it, very nice. Anyway, hope you all had a nice weekend, we're back. Um, this is the new format now, so basically once a week it will be a So Show episode. It will probably be between 40 to 60 minutes for the episode. What I used to do was do two episodes for about 25 half an hour each so and what I, what I found from the um, from the data I was getting off YouTube was basically um, I was doing two episodes one after like so one on the Monday one on a Tuesday the Monday one did well the Tuesday one not so much and I think mostly because people were you know busy and they can't just watch one video after, like day after day so what I'm doing is Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays is when I will be bringing out content um, Monday is the social stuff. Wednesday is the TW9 wrestling simulation stuff with Fight Club Pro. And then on Friday will be the retro database FM24 uh, Coventry City in the 2007-2008 season. So that's that. Um, for, the, for the foreseeable future, there'll be no football shirt content because I can't afford to uh, buy the mystery box and stuff like that. So... That's on hold for a fair bit unless something changes in my life. But yeah, so only three times a week you'll have to put up with me now. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that you enjoy my content still. So so it'll be longer episodes, but less of them. So once a week instead of twice a week, you're probably getting the same amount of minutes, but you're just getting it in one big video. So on that note, I shall be back in a sec with the first game of the Socio Challenge. Right, so here we are, we've got our first game of the season. Let me just go through a little things that have happened. Um, obviously, we'll tell you where we are in the league. We're six at the moment, 10 points um, from five games. Uh, and then, basically, we had an offer for Paisley up to, like, 19.5 million. But he had no interest in going. It was um, Frank first. I, 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 I can track. I can't remember how you pronounce that. But Frankfurt, basically, he he had no interest in going, even though I tried to persuade him. Then he moaned and said that he wants to leave because he wants to, the, the squad is not good enough, basically. So I've offered him out again for £15 million. Um, he has got a lot of people interested in, but I don't think they're going to pay the money for him. And Popel wants to leave as well because of promises um, broken by me. So he's... Uh, he had an offer from Sunderland, but it wasn't good enough for my liking, so I rejected it. We're going to keep trying until the transfer window's over. We might have to try and sell him in January instead. I don't know, but at the moment they're uh, they're still in the team for now. But we'll see. So here's the lineup for the first game of the episode. We've got Papa and Gold, Pinto and Patricio as the as the fullbacks. We are lacking in left backs at the moment. Paisley and LeBrun in the centre defence, Mugen and Serbo in midfield, Gastrin on the right, uh, Didot in the middle, Cord uh, Cardon on the left, and Dumas up front. Let's see how we get on. Hopefully, a good start to the episode. Wrens aren't doing well this season so far. I know there's only six, game, six games played. But yeah, let's see how we get on. First highlight goes to us. Pinto. Passes it in. Oh, nearly. Fortunately, I couldn't, I couldn't go and see Cadbury Athletic play um, on Saturday because I had to dog sit for my mum. So that was annoying. And they won 5 1 as well. Or something. I think it was 5 1 or 4 1. I can't remember now. Which is typical. The first, the only game I went to, they lost five one, and then they lose, and then they win when I'm not there. Uh, own goal by Axel Two and Zebi, but we'll take it one nil to us. Um, but yeah, fair play to Cabri Athletic winning. Team on the up. I, it's such a lovely ground. Um, they've had a lot. They've had people from all over the world go watch and play because of the the ground that they play. It's just a nice, nice ground to just look at. The view is really nice. And they do play some good football. They didn't have a good season last season, apparently, but um, they've won quite a few games this season so far, so hopefully they'll get promoted and we'll see. Um, but we're winning 1-0. Oh, Patricia loses the ball. No, nope, we get it back, though. 
Um, yeah, I didn't do much other than that. I, I won on the football yesterday, though. I did a uh, bookings travel, uh, and it was on the, the Brighton, Brighton Nottingham Forest game. Um, William Hill, and there's another bookies that do it, but I can't remember who it is. They basically do this thing where you, if you, if you do a bet with, like, say, you know, a couple of players to get booked or whatever, and if one gets substituted and the player that, that come on for him gets booked, then you win the bet, and that's what happened. So I won 95 quid, which ain't much, but, you know, it's better than nothing. And uh, I didn't win anything yesterday. I did a couple of little bets. Not thing go crazy because it's very rare that I'll win twice in one weekend. Um, but, yeah, I was close. I needed Rotherham to score for me to win a, a, on an Acker. That would have won me 130 quid. But, yeah, they didn't score. So... Yeah, rather than not in my good books at the moment. Right, let's make some substitutions. Actually, let's leave it like that for now. Hope you had a nice weekend. Let me know in the comment section what you end up doing on the weekend. I always like to know what other people are doing. Did you go and see some local football? How did your team do? Right, I think this might be a possible penalty. Yep. Chance for Renz to equalise here. Hopal hopefully will save it. Nope. Right, Dumas is coming off. I think Kofi's on the bench for some reason. Yeah, so we'll put Kofi on. Hopefully he can come and he can come on the pitch now and get the winner. Sorry if my voice sounds more croaky than usual. Um, I think I'm slowly coming down with something. Gurry. Oh, good cross. I don't know what our goalkeeper was doing there. Ah, oh, dearie, 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 dearie. We've still got time to get possible something, like a point out of this, but... Highly unlikely. They've got a... Oh, Matty Cash is playing for them. They've got a throw in. Yep, game over now, everyone. 3-1 to Renz. Not the best start for the episode, is it? I'm hoping this is a blip in the system and not the norm. Ah, come on, let's get this game done now. Right, 3-1. Right then, you know the score, I'll be back in a sec. Right, we're back and we've got our first Europa League game of the season. Very exciting day for the fans of Socho who have made the trip to Norway. Playing Rosenberg, who won't be an easy team to play. I'm hoping they haven't got... Um, oh no, I don't know, I don't think he plays from Rooney doesn't play from does he? Well, does he? I can't remember. But they haven't got him, so they must have sold him. Actually, they probably sold him ages ago. Let's have a look. Let's go all the way back. So they sold that wonder kid to PSG, thank God. So he's now playing for Sevilla, so he didn't exactly do well. Oh, actually, he did all right. He played for PSG for quite a while. Had that one great season where we, uh, oh, that was for the reserves. Um, yeah, didn't have the best of careers in the end, which is a shame. And then, maybe Rooney didn't play for him, then maybe I'll completely confuse him with somebody else. Let's have a look. Rooney, the, I can't remember how you pronounce his name. Isn't it Ro Rooney? Rooney, let's try Rooney. There you go. So he, oh, he was at Copenhagen when he wasn't at bloody Rosenberg. That was it, sorry. Uh, he's basically went to Newcastle and stayed there. Right, anyway, enough about that. Sorry, everybody. Getting sidetracked. So here's our team for the game against Rosenberg. Um, Kofi's back. Thierry's back. Bastian's back. So we're much stronger for having a left back for a change. We have sorely missed 
Bastion. I haven't got many options on the bench. So but that's how it is when you when you're doing a youth only save. First highlight looks like it's going to oh no, it stands corrected, it's going to us, Castrin. Bombs ahead on the right wing, waiting for people to catch up with him. Pinto back to Lebrun. Thierry has the ball now. Across to Paisley. Paisley drives it forward. Thierry, nice passing going on here. Did up. Great finish by him. 1 0 to us. Great way to start our European campaign. I'll be absolutely buzzing if we somehow win the Europa League this season. I don't think it's going to happen, but there's a lot of strong teams in there. Udinese, um, Anderlecht, PSV, Monaco, Rangers, Liverpool, Nice. I mean, Liverpool would be the favourites, I reckon. Good tackle. Oh, come on, ref. Ah, oh, great. Paisley's injured. Well, at least we keep him for a bit longer then, because if nobody can buy him in the window, at least we've got him for a bit. Right, Aga Agadou takes the penalty for Rosenberg. Ooh, Popal nearly saved it. Oscar Agar, what a name. 1-1. One, one. Entertaining game so far. Who else is in this? Freynoid. Freynold, how are you pronouncing? Dino Zagreb. Braga, Villarreal. Yeah, some some strong teams. I just realised I got the tag still on the shirt. I've managed to rip that off without ripping the shirt, which is good. Good goal there by Kofi. Third goal of the season for him. 2-1 to us. Get in. That's what we want to see before half-time. Do, do, do. Real Sociedad's in there as well. There's some. Uh, there's not many teams that you don't really know about. I mean, there's a few. There's Mura. Who the hell's Mura? Slovenian team. Okay. There's a few like unknowns there, but sometimes you got to watch out for them because nobody expects them to win. That's why I quite like watching Europa Conference and Europa League games because there's teams that you wouldn't expect to win they end up winning. Rosenberg goalkeeper just having, having a great time over there by the looks of it. Oh, come on. Where was the defending there? Luckily, in the end, he didn't he didn't really worry us with that shot. Uh, Cardon's not playing very particularly well, so we'll demand a bit more from him. Pinto is knackered. Uh, Patricio can come on. Did up can come off and we'll put on Zerbo. Um, we'll put that on you and then we'll take you off and we'll put you on. Right, I think that's all our subs used up, isn't it? Yeah. So, no more subs. We've just got to hope for the best now. Da 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 da. Like I said, it's nice to have Gast, uh, Bastion back, sorry, and Kofi. They do make a big difference to our team. I think we're going to see this game out now. 2-1 win to start the campaign, very good. Nice bit of money in the pot as well. Half a million, thank you. That'll do nicely. Right, so how long is he injured for? Uh, twisted knee, zero days apparently, so unfortunately he might still get transferred out of here. We haven't had any decent offers yet, so we'll see. But anyway, I'll be back in a sec with the next game. Right, we're now playing Nantes. I think that's how you pronounce their name. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, we've had an offer for pop that I've accepted. Two million um, from um, Sunderland. So it, we do get 20% of the next transfer as well. Um, so it's a fairly good offer for him. So we might see a day view of him. I've got to actually bear in mind how many goalkeepers have we got in the club. 
I think we're all right for goalkeepers. I say that we've got. Why is hold on a second? So why is he on the sub? Who's is he not a goalkeeper? Oh, he's not a goalkeeper. We haven't got a uh, goalkeeper on the bench. What's going on here? Why is he not picked a goalkeeper? Oh, probably because we haven't got one. Uh, right. Okay. Right. Soon change that. Oh, I'm doing that wrong. Um. There. And then move him across as well. There we go. Right, so in theory, we can now pick, we'll have goalkeepers. No, he's still, oh yes, yeah. Okay, so we'll have two goalkeepers at the club. I think we've got other goalkeepers. Sorry about this. I should have done this offline, maybe. Maybe you like this type of stuff when I'm doing this. I don't know, let me know in the comment section. So yeah, we've got him on loan. We can't, or oh, we can recall him. There we go. Recall Roulant. Roulant. Uh, Diego Villa is injured. He is actually probably going to be our number one goalkeeper moving forward. He looks very good. Right. So let's go back now. Okay, like so. There we go. So let's just pick that again. All right, so here's our lineup. Finally, we get there in the end. Sorry. So, uh, Gugnard is in defence for Paisley. Um, we've got the usual players there. Popo in goal might be his last game for us, by the looks of it. We've got the usual midfield and usual attacking midfield. And then Kofi up front, as always. Um, we are really struggling here. I'll tell you what I need to do. I need to go into the squad here. And what I need to do is... Promote. See, it's only these here that we can promote as well. It's going to get harder this challenge because we we really are lacking in squad. If you look on here now, if it lets me, why was it? Why does it never let me do it when I try and do it with the keyboard? Right, okay, hold on. All the way down here. So if you look here, twenty-three people in the squad. We've got a twenty-three player squad, which some people might like. I don't like that. I like to have a bigger squad than that. But anyway. Let's see how we get on. I think we've got two goalkeepers on the subs bench. Yeah, we have. That's how lacking we are in squad depth at the moment. Quite concerning. But we'll just make do with what we have. It's going to get even harder when, when if we get rid of Paisley and Popal. We're going to have 21 players in the squad then. At least we got three goalkeepers when he goes. Or four goalkeepers, actually. So it's not too bad. We're all right on the goalkeeper front. It's just everywhere else. We just we just got to hope that our youth intake does really well. Um, let's have a look. It's telling me to put Angeli on, but I don't think Angeli is fit. So we'll leave him. Right, Bastian. Did up. Dumas. Oh, Bastian, you should have better than that. Right, Tournier is coming on. For Cardon. Corner to us. Good interception by Thierry. Pinto to Dumas. Nice. Go on, Pinto. Oh. Greedy, greedy Pinto there. Should have passed it. Did up with the corner. Headed out. Thierry retrieves the ball. Still keeps it. Passes it to Mugen. Mugen, unfortunately, misplaces the pass. Gets intercepted and loses the ball. But we give him a free kick. Right, okay. 20 minutes gone, still nil-nil. I feel like we've been the better team so far. I think they're going to cock up here when they keep passing it like that. Come on, let's get the ball off them. They've got a decent team, Nancy's a good save. Confident save there by Popal. Let's hope he can get a clean sheet in his last game for us. 
yeah, we need to start getting some points on the table, get us a bit further up here. Then again, there's only four points behind us in second place. I actually can't remember where we ended last season. I think we ended third or fourth, didn't we? Ah, oh, Bastian's knackered. We're going to have to take you off then. Patricio can come on for you. Luckily, Patricio can play as both a right back and a left back, so it does give us some cover in case Bastian gets injured. And we've got Paisley as well, who can play left back. Oh, I thought that was in there. I thought that's such a weird goal, that is. Um, but obviously, if Paisley goes, we won't have that. Sorry about that. Right. Um, I, I barely got any sleep at my mum's. My mum's dog's constantly keeping me awake. Any time somebody walks past down the road, they're barking. Any, any slight noise, they're barking. I don't know how my mum gets any sleep. Mugen. Oh. Then again, my mum had to put up with my dad for many years and he was the worst snorer I've ever met and that includes myself on that one. So if she can put up with it, hear me, she can probably put up with it, the dogs. Good. Intercept. Oh, I thought he uh, tackled him there. Uh, Nantes have seemed to have come into the game later on as the game's gone on. Are they going to score here? Yes, they bloody do. Typical. Right, we need some some. Uh, we need a miracle here. Uh, we can't take any more players off, so we've just got to hope we can get an equaliser here. This has not been the best episode so far. One loss, one win. Probably another loss coming here unless we get a late equaliser. See if I can fire the players up. I will be, like I said, I will be missing. I know they don't, they won't have shouts in FM twenty four, so I will miss that. I probably will keep FM twenty four installed um, because I quite enjoy doing um, joint manager of a club and nation at the same time. So I might end up just playing FM twenty four. Just as much as I play FM25. But we'll see. But anyway. Two losses, one win so far. Not not doing well. But yeah. You'll see me in a second with the next game. Right, I'm back. Um, I have been an idiot. I accidentally instant resulted this game. Because offline I mostly play my saves. Um, instant result in it. So I thought like just muscle memory. I just force of habit I just did it without even thinking it by accident but yeah here's what happened did our score so we'll just have a look at his goal um, Kofi didn't play well though but, it looks like, but at least we won so that's two wins and two losses so far in this episode good, good shot by him as well to be honest uh, unfortunately he got injured in that game so he is out for a while I think could be wrong I can't remember how long oh Three days. I don't think he's out for three days. I think it's longer than that. But he's he's not playing in this game coming up now. Um, Angeli's back though, which is really good. So we've kind of got basically our strongest team now. Did up on the left. He's more. He's better on the left than he's in the middle here. And then Angeli. The only concern I have is Kofi at the moment. His form's not been the best. Bastian is uh, playing well as always. But yeah, so we've got we've got uh, we're playing Marseille now. Um, I'm just trying to say, oh yeah, by the way, pop -out has gone. I completely forgot that the transfer window closed before this episode started. So, um, he, he's going to Sunderland, that's happening in January. So we've got him for now. Um, sorry, force of habit doing that. Right, we've got Traore, he's making his debut, I think. Dig, uh, Digigu Traore, who is very young. And he hasn't played for us. He played as a sub in the Europa League. So we'll just see how he goes, how he gets on. Hopefully, he'll start performing well. He won't be starting because we've got Didot, but hopefully he's a good option on the bench. Uh, Mugin is knackered. He's playing this game, but he probably won't play very long of it. He'll be he'll be lucky if he ends up the playing the whole of the first half by the looks of it. So we are playing Marseille. We've got a few good players by the looks of it. 
and I was going to say they've just scored, but they haven't, luckily. Good save by Popal. Good header up by Guggenard. Quite concerned that Guggenard's already got a yellow card after eight minutes. Right, let's. Uh, I want to win this game. I want to start getting away from this lower mid table position we're in. I think we overachieved last season, but already Mugin's going to have to come off after 20 minutes. That's ridiculous. He should. I don't know why the assistant manager picked him in the first place. Anyway, Zurbo's on. Is that going to be allowed? VAR will have a look at this. Yeah, goal to slow. Good. Good to see. Seems to be a very Marseille highlights game here. I don't think we've had a highlight go our way yet. Oh, that might soon change. Angeli, beautiful bit of techers there. He is so good. He's way too good for us. Oh, that was poor by Zerbo. But at least we've had a shot, finally. So let's take another player off. This is what happens when you've got a very small squad. The same players have to play it every game, and they just get knackered quickly. Bastion's going to have to come off. Um, okay, we'll put you on, and then we'll take you off. And... Put you on. Right, and then what I need to do is swap you, you. Um, right. I can't take any more players off. Now we've got half an hour to go. I need to rest some players for the next game. LeBron, Samasa. Gives it back to Popal. I think we're lacking creativity here, especially now we've took off Angeli. Our best um, creative player we've got. You never know though. We might sneak out a 1-0 win here. Zubo. Oh, that was a harsh tackle there. I, that's definitely not in the box though. So I don't know why we're bothering with this. As I expected. Free kick though. Ah. Uh, 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 uh. Alright. This could be our first draw of the episode. You never know. We might sneak out a late winner. We won't deserve it. We'll absolutely take it though. Dumas, that's a penalty, that was inside the box. It's just whether there was enough contact to, to justify a penalty, but it was definitely inside the box. We could sneak out a 1 0 win here, that would be hilarious. Yep, goal award, uh, penalty awarded. Kofi, though, hmm, he doesn't always score penalties. But he's taking this one, and he does get in, go on! We've robbed them. 150th goal for So Show. Fair play, Kofi. No, I don't think that's right. Is it 150th career goal? I don't know. Oh, it, it probably is. 39, 49, 53, 75, 100, 117, 137, 143, 145. I don't know where that other one is, the other five is, but yeah. We'll take it for what it is. 150th goal of his social career. Fair play to him. Mason Greenwood is still at Marseille by the looks of it. I will have a look and see how his career ended up panning out at Marseille. Oh my God, that was a terrible tackle from Thierry. That, that, that was definitely a red card. I can't argue with that one. Well done, Thierry. You're probably, you're probably going to end up drawing this one now. Yep, they're going to score from this. Oh, good save, I think. 
maybe, I don't know, did it go over, I don't know, I don't care. Anyway, 1-0, we absolutely FM'd them there. Great result. Right, we haven't got a game for 21 days, so I'll see you in a second. Right, so we're back now, we're playing Lille. Um, we have got an injury to pop out, he's out for four weeks, so in comes Villa. I don't think we've got any other goalkeepers by the looks of it, they all look injured. Uh, let me just double check. I don't know why they keep automatically putting these back in the other squad, but yeah. Right, we're okay, like so. Actually, let's see who else is in the... Who else can we call up? Call you up. And we'll call you up as well. We need every player in the senior squad. Right, let's see what happens now. So there you go. Murray, backup goalkeeper. Uh, fitness concerns over Cardano and Ditto. And then other than that, pretty much straightforward, I think. Kofi needs to start playing well as well. You really need him at the top of his game. He's not having the best of seasons compared to previous seasons. I think he's only got four goals in eight or nine games for us. Oh, there you go. Fifth goal of the season. He obviously listened. 1-0. Get in. Let's have a look at some of the games he's played. Uh, oh, actually, he's actually having a decent season. I stand corrected. Seven games played, five, uh, eight games played, five goals scored because he just scored, which is about what he usually does. I'm sorry, Kofi. I should never have doubted you. Right, one nil to us. We are slowly climbing up the table. Like I said, not been the best of episodes, but hopefully we can win this game and our luck will change. The one positive to take from this is we are we've had we played two Europa League games and won both games. So that's good. Good decent save there by Villa. Confident save by him. Apparently I'm shouting at my players even though I haven't actually shouted on but yeah. That's what just said on the screen. Pinto, beautiful cross, that deserves a goal. Oh, great reactions there by Cardon. 2-0. Right, I think what I'm going to do is just be a bit more cautious. Now we're winning 2-0. We can uh, take our foot off the pedal a bit. What I'll do is do a little bit of time wasting as well. Oh, by the looks of it, it's a penalty. Yep, penalty to Lil. Hopefully Villa will save it and become an instant hero at the club. No, unfortunately it doesn't. Right, 2-1, need to go back to how it was before. Uh, probably take you off. Turn you off. Turn you off, sorry. Right, hopefully we can see this game out now. I don't want any late surprises with us conceding. Can't take any more players off, so let's just hope for the last seconds. There we go. Lovely juggly. Alright, so where are we in the league now? Seventh, okie dokie. So... Um, I think we've got enough time to play Leon, and then we'll finish the episode off with the Amblet game. So I'll see you in a second for the Leon. Right, so we've got Leon now. Uh, Paisley's back in the team. Um, but other than that, pretty
pretty much sent off. Dumas is in the middle here. Hard on there. So we've got no we got no Didot and Angeli for this game. Zangeli's out for a few weeks as well after just coming back, which is quite worrying. I hope it's not a consistent thing for him to be injured half the season. Especially as he's our most talented player. Good save. Oh, that might have hit the post actually. I don't know if the goalkeeper had anything to do with that. Talking a good save. So did anybody watch the Man United game? Bloody hell, what a save by Onana. Um I was uh, I was gutted when De Gea left Man United and I I didn't really like Onana because I just felt like he was too too much of a risk taker and and he made a few mistakes and things like that. Um, but he slowly but surely um, started to grow on me a little bit. Um, I'm happy for De Gea though, who's joined Fiorentina. I'm happy for him. I hope it works out well for him. I will always. I, I, I do miss him, I do. he is one of my favourite Man United goalkeepers, other than Schmeichel, I would say De Gea is my favourite Man United goalkeeper of all time. Perlo, get in. Trey already with his second goal of the season, I think first goal for uh, the senior team though. But nice to see him getting on the score sheet. 1-0 to us. Right, Paisley with the ball. Bastion, beautiful pass to Dumas. Oh, bit of a mix up there, but we'll take it. I'll wait and see what VR says. I don't think this is going to go in our favour, but we'll see. I think Gaston might have been offside. I don't know, goal awarded, I stand corrected. Right, Traore gives it to Pinto, over the top ball to Dumas. Oh, Dumas should have killed the game off there. We've still got a chance, but we're doing well, 2-0 up. We're now fourth in the league, two points behind Lens, who are second. That was a that was a good little run by this player called Vince Venner. Let's have a look, see how good he is. Regen Hortlia. New gen no, I mean. Oh, that was mid on by the way, all that flapping. Uh Wonder Kids, so there you go. Another one on the Leon Cabello belt of Wonder Kids. Right, two one just before half time. Hopefully we can keep this lead and it, or extend it. Would like another goal. Thierry. Oh, he's usually pretty good with free kicks, isn't he? Oh, oh I thought that was a penalty to us then. Right. I think most people are playing well other than LeBron. In fact, I'll just... No, nah, I'll leave it for now. Let's see what this highlight brings. Paisley with the ball. Bastian gives it to Gounard. Across to Bastian. Sees the space. Oh, Trejo and our second goal. Right. Uh, actually, no, I won't take the run off. He has slightly improved, so I'll, I'll leave him. They've got a, a good team here, Leon. Hedera, Ilax, Multiba. Um, who else have they got? I'll have a look in a sec. But they got pretty. They got that wonder kid as well. It's pretty good. Like I said, Leon, like a lot of French teams, known to bring through really good football players from their youth team. Hence the reason why they this save in the first place. Bastion. Oh, Kofi, come on. Everybody looks quite 
well, Baston needs to come off, but I mean, in 76 minute, we haven't had to take any players off for injuries, so that's pretty good. And Pinto, you're dropping like flies now. Oh, okay, what I'll do here then. There we go. Right, let's hope this game finishes with us winning. Not long now, a couple of minutes left. Another victory for us, very nice. Cardon's injured, this is the last thing we need is all these players injured. Right, so we've got Anderlecht in four days, so I'll be back in a sec with our last game of the episode. Right, so we've got the last game of the episode against Anderlecht in the Europa League. Hopefully we can continue our 100% winning streak in the Europa League. Um, pretty much the same team as the last game, I think. Angeli's back though, so that's good. Didot's back as well, so that's good as well. So a strong team for us in this game against Anderlecht. First highlight is going to us, Pinto, gives it to Angeli. Oof, Angeli forces the goalkeeper to make a save there. Nice, good, strong start so far. Corner, headed out. Gastrin. Leads to nothing, that highlight in the end. Did up, gives it to Gastron. Get in, 1 0 to us. Beautiful finish by Kofi. And now, second in Europa League, neck and neck with Villarreal, who's also had a 100% winning run so far in this competition. I think we're surprising a lot of teams in this competition this year. Don't get me wrong, we will come and stuck if we play a team like Liverpool, but I think we'll... Yeah, score on Bastion. 2-0 to us. Nice to see Bastion on the score sheet. One of my... Probably my second favourite player behind Kofi in the... Uh, Socio lineup over the years. Right, 2-0, 2-0, 2-0. Ain't much else to say. They have not had a single shot at the moment at all. We've had more of the possession by the looks of it. Got another highlight to us. Thierry. Nice pass to Angeli. Guggenard. Pinto back to Angeli. Oof, Thierry does love a long shot. Right, half time, Angeli needs to come off. Uh, do mass have to come on? Right, Pinto to do mass picks out a lovely pass. Unfortunate they're not uh, scored from the header. Pinto, nice, nice finish, Kofi there with his 7th goal of the season, he's uh, stepped up a gear the last couple of games on here, ah, Bastian's had to come off, Patricio, oh, do mass there nearly. And 
lifted it up. Tricio, beautiful finish by him. Absolutely destroyed them this game. 3-0. Great result. 4-0, sorry, I stand corrected. I don't know what happened there. Zamasa. Gugenard. Dumas now. Oof, a bit ambitious there, Dumas. But when we're winning four 0 I don't really care. You can you can do all the long shots you want. We are currently second. I was going to say we're currently top. Then Villarreal must have uh, got another goal. But yeah, doing very well. Kept our hundred percent record in Europa League. That's where we are at the moment. Yep, give Kofi some praise. Uh, Okay, that's that. Right, so let's see where we are. So we're fourth in the league at the moment. Kofi is our top goal scorer as usual with seven goals. Let's have a quick look. Seven goals from ten games. Having a great season. Um, I apologise for doubting him. Didot is our best overall player. I mean, look at that. If we get anywhere near that for him, we'll be laughing. But I don't think we're going to get anything like that for him if we do sell him. Mugen. Oh, Mugen's wanted. Uh, Real Sociedad. Everybody wants Paisley. They all want him, but they, a lot of them want him on loan to Chen Afternoon. In fact, I need to change this to let people know. Um, so in the January window, we might get... Then again, the clubs that are after him ain't going to have the money to be paying £15 million for him, I don't think. It's like a Saudi team that may pay something like that, but yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. The teams that are after him, like I said, are not team for big amounts of money to be spending maybe crystal palace will give us a deal decent enough for him but we'll see and then I'll, um see how best doing. mean he's not doing well on the old discipline side seven yellow cards he's only played i don't know he has played quite a few games 12 games so far our uh my favorite player right i'm gonna call it a day on that one um just do this first there we are, like so, like magic, like, there you go. Anyway, thank you as always. I hope you enjoyed this new longer format. It's once a week, so it will be easier for you lot to probably focus on and it will cheer you up on your dreary Monday days. Um, and, that, and then just let me know in the comment section if you like the new format, if you prefer me to go back to the old format. You know, I need feedback. If I don't get feedback, I don't know whether I'm doing something right or something wrong. But anyway, overall, thank you. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Please like the video. Like I said, leave a comment. It all helps. And enjoy the rest of your week. And I'll be back on Wednesday with some TW9 wrestling simulation stuff. All the best.